It's March 11th. 2020. General Berger, the Marine Corps' top general at the time, is speaking before Congress. His message? We are clearly not built for where we think we will need to be six, seven, eight, nine years into the future. We must pursue urgent change at a significant scale. He's speaking of a plan to modernize the Marine Corps, to mold it to face the problems of the future, a future that is rapidly becoming the present. Technology is advancing faster than ever before, and with it, the way we compete with the threats to our nation and its values. Force Design is a plan to modernize the Marine Corps, to be a leaner, more agile force that integrates back into its naval roots. A lethal expeditionary force contributing to joint all-domain warfare in the littorals. Beyond the boots on the ground, Technology has exponentially increased information's effect on the modern battlefield, making our need to exploit data more important than ever. And for that, new key players are emerging with the ability to change the organizational culture to focus on using the power of information to create advantages in any domain. As I firmly believe the core is on the right path under force design. We're implementing that plan now with continuous learning to bring our naval expeditionary force into the future to deter our adversaries and secure peace, stability, and freedom for our nation and for a better world. Marines, let me begin by saying thank you. People have always been and will remain our decisive advantage. But people enabled by data and technology are critical to winning our next fight. No matter the climb or place, no matter the domain. Our youngest generation of warfighters will bear the responsibility of knowing how to fix bayonets and charge into the center of the enemy, while also integrating emerging technologies, such as generative AI, machine learning, and quantum computing. All of you play a role in that integration. We have momentum now but we cannot overstate the importance of maintaining that momentum and resolving the challenges of a constantly evolving, technologically driven security landscape. Like all Marines before, you continue to rise above and accept the call for action. And your work has not gone unnoticed. We look forward to the future as part of a Naval Expeditionary Force at the cutting edge of how to sense and make sense of the challenges posed by our nation's foes. We look forward to integrating data and technological solutions that will enable us to fight with speed and precision from all domains. And we look forward to combining human talent and advanced processes to become even more lethal in support of the joint force and our allies and partners. We must continue to take every opportunity to collaborate with each other, with industry, and with academia. The challenges will not stop, but the solutions are out there and we need to find them. Our Marines and sailors are counting on you. Good luck, and Semper Fidelis.